The Visco injector is a manually operated device for precision delivery of small amounts of viscoelastic fluid. The scrub nurse or technician is responsible for operating the Visco injector from the sterile field. A cartridge of viscoelastic is placed into the body of the Visco injector. The body of the Visco injector connects to the handle of the Visco injector. The Visco injector can be used with the ProVisc, Helon Pro and Helon GV Pro. The knob of the Visco injector is rotated clockwise to deliver viscoelastic fluid. The Visco injector connects to the iTruck Advanced Canaloplasty device via an infusion line. To prepare the Helon Pro, Helon GV Pro, remove the plunger rod from the end of the syringe. Push the Helon cartridge into the syringe until it is fully engaged and the needle pierces the vial. Inside the tray you will find the Visco injector body, the Visco injector handle, the black fibre optic cable and the clear infusion line. Insert the Helon cartridge through the side of the body of the Visco injector. You will hear an audible click as the Helon cartridge is properly inserted. Push down on the front and rear of the Helon to ensure it is seated properly. Connect the handle to the body, securing the cartridge of viscoelastic in place. Rotate the knob clockwise to advance the plunger until it contacts the rubber stopper in the cartridge of viscoelastic. The visco injector is now assembled. Remove the clear infusion line from the tray and firmly attach the lure connector to the visco injector. To prime the eye track advance, rotate the knob of the visco injector clockwise. Continue rotating the knob until viscoelastic flows from the tip of the microcatheter. Approximately eight full rotations of the knob will be required. When the black line on the knob aligns with the black line on the handle, this indicates one full revolution or eight clicks. Viscoelastic fluid is delivered during withdrawal of the iTruck Advanced Microcatheter from Schlem's Canal to perform viscodilation, as directed by the surgeon. Viscoelastic fluid can also be delivered during intubation to overcome blockages or occlusions in Schlem's Canal, as directed by the surgeon. During viscodilation, the surgeon will slowly withdraw the iTruck Advanced Microcatheter through Schlem's Canal while the scrub nurse or technician operates the visco injector to deliver viscoelastic fluid. To deliver viscoelastic fluid, gently hold the visco injector and rotate the knob in small increments or clicks. The simultaneous withdrawal of the iTruck Advanced Microcatheter and delivery of viscoelastic fluid via the visco injector must be smooth, consistent, and continuous.